Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on creating a stackable guide in Atomica. In this video, we'll guide you through each phase of the workflow, from initiating the case, to exporting your final guide for printing. Let's get started. Once your case planning is complete, open the design app, select the bone model, and choose the stackable guide module. Enter a case name, select the working arch, and click create case to proceed. The first step is to create a reduced bone model. A reduction platform will appear, and the gizmo controls will be automatically activated. You can verify their activation in the Guide Tools panel. The reduction plane should be positioned between the implant platform and the guide sleeve. If it's not within this area, it will appear red. Once correctly positioned, it will turn blue. Next, adjust the distal cuts to define where the bone reduction stops. Click on Distal Cut to activate the first cut. For better accuracy, use an occlusal perspective. Adjust the gizmo to align the cut with the planned reduction point, ensuring the blue arrow points distally and apically. Repeat the process for the opposite side by adding cut 2. Once positioned correctly, click Reduce Bone to generate the reduced bone model. It will be automatically added to the models list. Now, define the guide seating area. Select the reduced bone model and use a selection tool, such as the brush, to mark the seating region. Once marked, click Generate Template to proceed. This template will serve as the foundation for the stackable guide components. Latches connect different parts of the guide. To add them, make sure the reduction platform is visible and the guide template is selected. Click Latches, then Add to begin placement. For better accuracy, use an occlusal perspective. If a latch interferes with other elements, it will be highlighted in red. Adjust its position until it turns blue. For stability, place at least three latches in a tripod configuration. Now, let's generate the foundation guide. Ensure that the template latches, distal cuts, and reduction plane are selected. Click Generate Foundation Guide. Next, generate the surgical guide by confirming all elements are selected and clicking Generate Surgical Guide to finalize the design. To create the vertical mount, select the intraoral scanned model and use a selection tool to mark the seating area. Ensure all latches are visible, then click Generate Vertical Mount to complete this step. To add pegs to the WaxUp, make the WaxUp model visible and ensure all latches are displayed. Then, navigate to Utilities and select Export Model with Pegs. The model will be saved as an STL file, ready for 3D printing. Finally, export your guide for printing. Select all guide elements by holding control button and clicking each component. Right click and choose export selected. Your STL files are now ready for 3D printing.